Welcome to the Urban Survivor channel. In this video, we're going to be looking at bug out vehicle upgrades and add ons, and accessories and gear, and maintenance items that are designed to increase your vehicle's range, usefulness, and overall capability during a bug out situation. And most of these upgrades are relevant if you have an SUV or a truck, but there are some good ones for people who just have cars as well. And if you have a second, stop by urbansurvivor.net and check out uh, all the cool survival gear we have there. And there's a link in the description below to the site along with all of the items that we discuss in this video. And don't forget to hit the like button on this video and subscribe to the channel for more. Alright, so let's take a look at vehicle upgrades and modifications for SUVs and trucks. Off-road tires are a great place to start. Uh, you get added clearance and increased off-roading capabilities. You can also look at run-flat tires as well. And you should probably keep a good spare with you and the equipment you need to change the tire as well. Bumpers and grill guards are also nice. Uh, they protect the front end of your vehicle. You can get security film for your windows, which makes them a lot tougher to break and it'll prevent your vehicle from getting stolen. Uh, it's the same kind of film that's already on your windshield, but you can add it to the windows of your passenger doors. You can look at enhanced lighting to improve the visibility at night. You could get uh, stronger headlights or a light bar, and you can't really expect the street lights to be working and you might need to go off-roading or somewhere remote so having extra light uh, would be a good thing. CB or ham radios can increase your awareness of what's going on uh, if the disaster for some reason knocked out your local radio stations and you can also use them to communicate. Lift kits are great either suspension or body lift kits and they increase your vehicle's clearance. You can add a hitch and we'll discuss some things that you can use the hitch for in the next section of this video. A winch is great uh, in case your vehicle gets stuck and there's no one around to pull you out. Skid plates can protect the undercarriage of your vehicle and it'll be handy if you're driving over rocks. A snorkel is also cool if you're going to be driving through water. It'll prevent water from getting into your engine. And if you don't have four-wheel drive, you might want to consider upgrading to a four-wheel drive vehicle to improve your off-roading capabilities, but it might not be necessary depending on where you're planning to bug out. Another great thing to consider would be a roof rack, which you could add to the top of your vehicle to increase your storage capacity. You could throw uh, some food and water and some bulky items on top of your car. That way you have more room on the inside. All right, so now we're going to be taking a look at a couple of great add-ons. You can look at a rooftop camping setup for the top of your SUV or truck. Um, it might work on some cars as well. Maybe if you have a hatchback or something with a long roof on it. You can also get a uh, truck bed tent set up as well. If you can tow, and you, you could look at a, a small camper, which would make you a lot more comfortable if you were bugging out. Uh, you could also just tow a, a trailer with some ATVs or motorcycles or even a small boat, uh, depending on you know what your bug out plan is. And you can also look at adding a bike rack to your car. If your vehicle breaks down or for some reason you can't go any further with the vehicle, having bikes is a better alternative to walking in most cases and it'll help you get a lot further. So a few more uh, accessories and some gear options for you. Uh, vehicle camo netting is great if you need to hide your vehicle. If you're going to be bugging out somewhere where you don't want to be seen, uh, hiding your vehicle would be probably something smart to do. You can get a power inverter that uh, plugs into the cigarette lighter of your car and you can use it to power electronic devices. You should have a good escape tool something that can break windows and cut seat belts. Either you might get in an accident or you might need to rescue somebody from an accident. It's a good thing to have. You should also have some kind of a pry bar or demo tool in case you need to break into a vehicle. Good gas or solar power generator is good. It'll keep you powered if you go off the grid. You probably should add a way to carry extra gas with you to increase the range of your vehicle. 
Uh, it's good to have as a backup because you don't know if you're going to be able to fill up or not. If you're going to store your gas, you're going to need to add some fuel stabilizer. And it might be good if you're going to be keeping the gas for an extended period of time because gas goes, it starts to deteriorate pretty quickly. A gas siphon is another great thing to add to your kit. Um, you should bring some water containers with you as well. They're easy to uh, fill up and you can just keep them in the back of your car. Some tow straps are good if your vehicle gets stuck. Tire chains are good to have in case you're in bad weather. You can get some kind of trunk organizer to keep everything together and easily accessible. A shovel is good in case you need to dig your car out or your tire gets stuck. And a fire extinguisher is good to have as well. All right, moving on to uh, repair and maintenance items. Uh, fix a flat or some kind of tire sealant is great to have in case you get a flat. Um, you also might need a pump as well. You should have some kind of basic vehicle toolkit with you in case you need to do some kind of repair. A good jump starter is nice to have, and many of these can also uh, charge your electronics, and some of them even have an air compressor as well. And you should bring some jumper cables with you. And duct tape is also something you should have. Uh, there's a million uses for that stuff. Flex seal is great for waterproofing and repairing leaks, and I use some to fill about a quarter inch hole at the bottom of my windshield wiper reservoir, and it works really well. And quick steel is something else that's great to have. It's basically a reinforced epoxy that bonds to metal and it basically turns to steel. And you can even use it on, uh, on fixing something that's pressurized. You should also bring along other basic maintenance items like oil and filter, belts, hoses, fuses, antifreeze, and whatever else your vehicle might need. So a few final thoughts. Um, in addition to the things that we discussed in this video, you should obviously bring your bug out bags with you and extra food and water, um, a good first aid kit, maps, a good shelter, and extra clothes and blankets. Always keep your gas topped up. You don't know when you're going to need to go. And make sure that your vehicle is maintained regularly. And it's good to keep a set of spare keys handy as well. All right, so I'll post links in the description below uh, to everything that's discussed in the video. And if you have any ideas for other items that you think should be included in um, your bug out vehicle preparation, then please post them in the comments below. And if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button for more videos and check out urbansurvivor.net. All right, have a good one and thanks for watching.